It's like your munchkin of choice. Oh, uh, out of the mm, chocolate, chocolate guy, glazed army. Yeah, glazed, glazed army. army. Yep. Oh, jelly. Anyone for the jelly munchkin? No. Nope. Once I reached like my late twenties, I started appreciating the jelly more. Really? Yeah. I have not reached my late twenties yet. Mm. <laughs> I am not there. <laughs> oh, no, are you jelly? I'm not jelly. Not anything. Jelly. I'm not jelly of anything. Not jelly of any. I'm very blessed. <laughs> Glad you appreciated uh, that, Bobby. I'm gonna go talk to Broman. We're talking about business expenses. My te I got my I got my Tesla wrecked. Right. Yep. My Tessie got wrecked. I think they're they're inspecting it now. Company car. Have Wormwood buy me a Tesla or no rent lease? Send me a Tesla. Steve will know how that works. I know. S Steve would know how that works. And there's just a lot of things. It's like a qu it's like this is a smartphone. This smartphone. Hi Nick. Hey. Hey Ian. We have a meeting. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm sorry. See you. Right. See you. Yeah. Company phone. Well, like, why, 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 why? Yeah, we use our phones a lot for work. Could be a company phone. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Jerry, did you have Munchkin? No, I haven't. Would you like a Munchkin? Yes, please. Okay, let's get a Munchkin. Let's get a Munchkin. Glazed. Uh, no. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Business expense. <laughs> At least we can write it off. That's a business expense. Yeah. Like if I bought these Munchkins just for me. Yeah. Not a business expense. Yeah. I share one with you. Want another? Double, double the write-off. Double the write-off. What's happening? Do you want much? Do you want much? Am I getting reimbursed for these munchkins? Is that happening? If you take, if you take a munchkin, Dimitri did buy these out of his own pocket. Did you really buy these out of your own pocket? Uh, yeah. But you gave one to Jare. Yeah. That's a business expense. Yeah. Okay. It was <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. That's what we're gonna to talk to Broman about. Like, what are the rules here? It's everywhere. It's like, look at these. These look very nice. These look, can I touch these? Go for it. These look very nice. Who's, who's are theirs? They were medias. Okay, so I've this seen. is actually medias. They fell into my lap. What about the ones you're wearing now? These are mine. Those are yours. Mm -hmm. See? Could be a business expense. Yeah. He's using them at work. Yeah. Just saying. I mean, sure, the, clothes, yeah. the clothes we're wearing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> We need Roman. Okay. We're gonna talk about business expenses. I was just in the media office and Bobby was like going off. Wormwood should be buying my haircut. Wormwood should be buying my bar. And Wormwood like, right? Like this, 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 this. The clothes we're wearing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know anything about this. Do you know about this? I happen to, yes. <laughs> the IRS has kind of a guidelines for what is an expense. It has to meet two criteria, ordinary and necessary. Ooh. Ordinary. Yes. And, not or, and necessary. Then I want to go into why you want things to be business expenses. You don't really want expenses. You're like, I don't want expenses, right? I mean, the less expenses, the more profit. But if you do have ordinary and necessary expenses, you want a tax deduction for them. That's the very simple view of it. Ordinarily and necessarily. <laughs> this is the guy. This is Tax Dodger in Chief. Okay. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. uh, if I can. Talk about business let expenses. Me know, let me know which one of those. There's a lot of them. There could be. Define necessary and then define ordinary. Sure. To the best I can, necessary. Uh, Bobby's haircut is not necessary for us to be in business. Whoa. Oh, he'll argue Whoa. that. Whoa. He's an internet influencer. Well, okay, <laughs> you'd be a good tax lawyer and could argue that point. And to some extent, you might win that point. And maybe that was a bad example of what's not necessary. Think of something completely unnecessary to our business. You paint your living room. It's not even our expense, even if it was. But what if Doug works better in his living room? Yeah, because he just feels nicer, because it's painted. It's my home office. So home office. Yes. I want to do home office. It's not. No. Ken no, Worm would expense don't, that. Don't even go there, because it's got to be used exclusively at the convenience of the employer. But let's not go there. Oh, uh, I like <laughs> it's this. Not See, See it's, this is this is gonna get meaty. So necessary is something that is essential for the functioning of the business. Essential? Is essential the key or necessary? Ne necessary is the word. Necessary. You can of... insert essential, but it's necessary. Okay? And then what's ordinary? So what might be ordinary in this business might not be ordinary in another business. Sure. So in the woodworking environment, is it ordinary? 
to have this type of expenditure. We are not an ordinary woodworking company, right? We are very unordinary. We right. have a full-time marketing staff. Essentially, we run a marketing company out of our woodworking company. You've, I don't think you've ever been to Pawtucket. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of photography and video equipment. No, it is a good point though. We also like, we yeah. do e-commerce. We have web developers on staff. Yeah. That's not ordinary for a wood manufacturing company. Uh, you we you, we you, ship you could retail it is goods. Yeah, like but a, a golf uh, membership. Oh, you got to make right. those deals. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happens if we had a sales? What happens if we had salesmen on staff? Companies that are doing wholesale deals, we're really like they're salesmen trying to land big accounts and big deals. Those salesmen probably are expensing meals. They're expensing travel. They're expensing hotels. Am I guessing correctly? Those are all good guesses. The IRS changes their allowance of those deductions as time evolves. For instance, during the pandemic, they allowed a 100% meal deduction if you went to a restaurant. Oh, they were trying, they were trying, they were get, trying to get, get people back, back into back. the restaurant. Yeah, they allowed, yeah. Then they went back to 50%. I think right now, tax deductions are not allowed for gym memberships, for golf club memberships. They're just what? not allowed anymore. Lame. Brendan, come, come, come in, Brendan. You're now, you're, you're now part of this. Jamie? What's up, Brendan? How are we doing? Brendan, yep. how much do you know about taxes? Tax law, accounting, all that stuff. I know I'm supposed to do them every year. You are an employee, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm going to try to diagram out how taxation works for Brendan and how it is fundamentally different for businesses. And I want you to correct me if I'm wrong, because I could go way off here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put Brendan here, right? And Brendan is going to do work. And for that work, see how I want to diagram this. Brendan is going to at that point what was it called like the the the, the gro like he gets a gross pay for taxation gross, gross wages gross wages are your wages gross <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to say for argument's sake and we know it's far far higher than this we're going to say it's a thousand dollars a week right so we're going to say there's gross when wormwood takes that thousand dollars and tries to give it to mr brendan there's someone we're forgetting good old government there's government so then there's a there's 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 a government sort of checkpoint and it is going to take out social security income tax federal and state right you're also for the state of massachusetts you're also going to get disability insurance taken ah, out as well so employees do not pay into workers comp that's purely an employer gotcha warmwood had a thousand dollars and it's going to be like, here you go, Brendan, you can go buy your... What are you buying? Pokemon cards. <laughs> I think he's more of a Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a trap card. How much are Social Security taxes? Uh, 6.2%. 6.2%. Wow. When we take that $1,000 and we're like, we're going to get you the $1,000, $1,000 is going to get to him. No. Hell no. It's going to be like $750. Uh, $750. Yeah, well, he has enough insurance yet. You have to have insurance in Massachusetts. Shut up! I lost. You do. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! That means for every dollar in his pocket, he had to earn more than a dollar. That's the point. That is not exactly how a business operates. So for a business, it's like you have your sales, the revenue that is recognized by the business. Yeah? You got a thumbs up? Right? So we have sales, and then we would minus some sort of expenses. And the expenses can be labor, it can be rent, it can be as long as it's ordinary and necessary. Perfect. All those expenses then come out and then you're going to have essentially your profit, right? This is, this is very simplified. And then you're gonna get taxed on your profit. So here's the thing, this is the difference. The expenses here are theoretically not taxed. If Brendan goes out and buys something, what do you what do you want what do you want to buy? A new Mac. Right. So he's gonna buy a new computer. A new one for like two grand. Okay, so two grand. So that means he had to earn something like twenty five hundred dollars in order for him to get the two thousand dollars in order for him to buy that computer. If Wormwood buys that computer for him for work, that's a write-off. This is correct. That's correct. 
So that means when Wormwood is buying it, it's dollar for dollar. We didn't have to buy that MacBook out of dollars out of profit. This is the thing, everything he buys, he is buying out of his personal profit. Wormwood buys that computer without, just at, just at normal cost. Everything you buy that is a business expense is about a 20 to 25% off coupon compared to if a person that did not have a business made the same purchase. Is that correct? Well, it's even worse than that because he has to pay sales tax when he buys that computer. Uh, I think, don't believe we do, uh, do we? If we're using no. it for manufacturing, yeah. we don't have to pay sales tax. If we're using it for Troy, uh, then we do have to pay sales tax. So if I go out and I buy a pizza for myself, there's no business expense there. I'm gonna have to pay with post-tax money. If I buy a pizza and bring it into work and share it with you guys, that is potentially a business expense which potentially is ordinary and necessary. And in which case, it will have some level of tax write-off. But that's really fundamentally what we're talking about. Is that correct? Yes. 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 How the fuck do they audit this? How do they, because really it's like, I kind of want everything to be a business expense now. It's because then everything is cheaper because I'm paying pre-tax money. This is what's fucked up. Every single dollar he has is considered profit. I bet you don't feel like it's profit. You probably feel like these are actually exact, like this is what you need now for the rent. The, the, like to you, the profit's what's left over at the end of the month right. that you could then do something with. Right. My expenses. Right. Whereas if this was a business, his rent would be tax deductible, his food would be tax deductible, his car payment would be tax deductible, because that's not profit, right? The profit would be what's left over. Whereas businesses, it's completely reversed. You see? Oh, I see. Scandal. So, so. Talk is scandalized. <laughs> this is like, it's, it's, it is scandalous when you think about it. There has yeah, to be no, a it's, reason, it's right? I think I have an explanation. We snitch on Brendan. We send the government a W-2 and are like, this is how much we paid him. Whereas we are self-reporting the profit, right, basically. So it's because of like the W-2 wage employee by that he's hit at the beginning of the process. I, I, and I believe, you know, if you tried to tax at the top of the funnel for businesses, I don't even know if businesses could really function properly. It would be kind of nutty. The fact that businesses are taxed at the bottom of the funnel makes perfect sense. I actually think it would just make more sense if we treated individuals the same way somehow. There's a lot of good arguments why we should have a sales tax based economy where really sales you're, you're not trying to you're not trying to tax you're basically just doing transactional taxes on sales you're not trying to Long story short, I wrecked my Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I see where this is going. Doug wants a new Tessie as a write-off. That's yeah. what you want. This is all theoretical. Yeah. We would never discuss what Wormwood is or is not going to do. We're a privately held company and yeah. we don't have public financial disclosures. <laughs> so if there was theoretically a business owner, theoretically somewhat like myself, who theoretically got rear-ended, and theoretically the Tesla is broken, I was glad you were asking this theoretically. theoretically, because I'm surprised theoretically that <laughs> the Tesla is not a, a rumored asset. Um, so it's crazy. It kind of makes sense. <laughs> it brings, yeah, it brings, it brings the CEO to work. work. Go, business. Like, that should be a rumored asset being fully depreciated and all costs associated with it, insurance, repairs and whatnot should be expensive to the business. That's ordinary and necessary. Yes. <laughs> Wormwood's never done any of this. That's something you should do. I, su I, suge I suggested this. We're using that vehicle more than 50% of its mileage for business purposes other than commuting. You get to, that could be a, a, a Wormwood asset, theoretically. So, so you're saying I should buy a Tesla? I'm saying, <laughs> you're saying Wormwood should buy a Tesla? Yeah, yeah. it's a green initiative. Green, green initiative at Wormwood. I hate all of this so much. He should start a business. They are incentivizing you to start a business. Mm. You should start a business because there's lots of advantages if yes. you can do it. Yes, no, they are telling Wormwood to buy Doug a Tesla. That's what they're doing. They're telling Wormwood to buy Doug a Tesla. And who am I to stop them? What, what color Tessie? 
White. What color? White. All white. White yeah. on the outside? Yeah. Well, I you mean, know. it's a company car. I mean, company company could pay for custom wrap. <laughs> company could pay for car washes. It's fine. <laughs> you have to maintain. You don't want our investment in our asset to degrade. Especially if you put a little wormwood sticker on it on the outside. Yep. Salt is corrosive. Yeah. We should probably build a garage and a charging area to keep it nice. Yes. See? <laughs> You're not corrupt enough. You gotta lean into the corruption. This is so bad. 